Hey everybody, welcome back to the Highland Fox. Today we're going to do another whiskey review, and we're doing it on Bibb & Tucker. So this is Bibb & Tucker 6 here. Um, it is, thank you, it is number 16. 14. 14 in Whiskey Advocate's 20 Best Whiskeys of the Year. So we had a heck of a time finding any on the list. So we have this one, number 14, and we do have number one. That'll be a later video. But this is Bib and Tucker. We have not had this bottle before. Um, we've always wanted to try it. Bottle looks cool. Yeah, it looks super like old school steampunk almost. Mm -hmm. it's, yeah. It's probably super difficult to see with like a dark, oh, a dark back, background, yeah. But um, super cool bottle. I don't know. I Looking at it, it doesn't look like it, I don't know, would be like a high end. Yeah. Almost, like whiskey, but. I think it was like $45. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. Um, so if you find it, try to get a bottle. Yeah. So, all right. all right, I'll let you handle that gently. All right. So, again, we have our Glen, Claren Glen Karen glasses. I don't know if you can see the color. It's like... Amber. Very, yeah, it's lighter. Lighter, yeah. It looks a lot lighter than what you would think coming out of that dark, yeah. old school bottle. Like, I was thinking it was going to be like... Like a, like a deep, like mahogany kind of color. Yeah. yeah. But this is like almost... Copper? Yeah, that's pretty light. So I don't know if you can see it, but all right. Nose, don't taste yet. Oh my goodness. That smells really good. That smells sweet. Yeah, it's sweeter than I was expecting. Yeah, once again, not what I was expecting out of that bottle. Giving a little bit of vanilla. I'm sorry, but like, I don't know, candies. It's like, it's yeah. so sweet. But like chocolate? Mm, yes. Chocolate? Yes. All right. A little bit of an oak, but slight, very yeah, slight. Yeah, yeah. It's so. definitely a, a sweeter, lighter mm -hmm. whiskey than I was thinking yeah, of. Yeah, so I'm excited. All right. All right. Ready to try? Yeah, let's All taste right. it. Cheers. What are you getting? What are your notes and your taste? So, at first, I was like, what is this, like, dried fruit flavor? Okay. You know? Yeah. Do you, like? I don't really get a dried fruit. Necessarily. Yeah, it's like I, th I was thinking like raisins, fig. Okay. I think it's like ginger. ginger. Oh, interesting. Do you, okay. Do you get that? I don't, but okay. I get something a little more spicy, like a cinnamon right okay. away. Okay. But. Y yeah, like because I, I was like, it's not like leather, but it's like a spice, so I guess yeah. it's like cinnamon. Um, but I can see the ginger too, because mm -hmm. it got like, I am getting ginger more in the finish though. Okay. Okay. Because like, the, the cinnamon hits you, like, right away. Mm -hmm. it's, it's not as... But it's not it, spicy. It's not spicy, but it's not as sweet as it smells, which I kind of like. Because I don't know if this would be as good just, like, you know, when you get those real sweet bourbons. Like, yeah. I don't know if it'd be... No, it's and it's not, like, overpowering. Like, I know we smelled vanilla. Do you taste... Like, I feel like it's vanilla that I'm tasting. Um, Maybe. Yeah, there is something sweet in there. Yeah. I just but, don't... I mean, it could also be caramel. I get vanilla and caramel mixed up mm. all the time. I get so. caramel. Okay. Yeah, it's probably more of the caramel. But yeah, I don't know. I'm getting like that dried fruit ginger, but it's very pleasant. Mm-hmm. Um, I guess now that you like say cinnamon, I'm like, oh yeah, I'm picking that up. But like if you yeah. like, blindfolded me and you were like, what's it? that taste? Yeah. Yeah. So with that, with the finish, because I, again, I don't get the ginger necessarily in the taste, but yeah. I get it in the finish. So what's your finish? Let me let me try it again. I want to make sure I get this right. Yeah, guys. yeah right. Sorry. Um, it doesn't finish long. Um, I know we did a previous one with like log of one that stayed in your stayed on your palate for, for a pretty long time. Um, this one finishes pretty quick, which is yeah. Nice. I would say like short, medium. Yeah. Um, but a little. I'm getting the cinnamon on the finish. A okay. little bit. A That's little spice. Cinnamon. Yeah. Um, but I definitely get a spice. Maybe like, a tad... like pepper. Maybe? I don't know. It's, it's... okay. Okay. I was gonna yeah. say oak, but yeah, pepper does sound. I do get the oak. Yeah, I feel like I feel like oaks in a lot of these, which makes sense because they're aged in white oak barrels. Yeah, but like it's it's nice that it comes through, and it's not like you're licking a tree. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's like a nice again, like that warm, like cozy, yeah. kind of a feel. Mm -hmm. Does not burn too much. No, but it definitely it, you definitely know what you're you know you're drinking. Yeah, but it's a very mild finish. Ninety two proof. 
Okay. So it's not it's not overly yeah. not overly alcoholic. Yeah. I mean, this is. I don't think you need any water or ice with it. Yeah. Again, Unless you I like it. Yeah, yeah, I prefer it neat. Um, but again, yeah, like you said, right? If, no, however you like your whiskey. Neat. Yeah. Ain't it neat? Yeah, that's pretty neat. Um. So yeah, do you recommend this? I do. Okay. I do. It's um. It's it's an interesting it's an interesting whiskey, so I would definitely recommend it for that aspect. Uh, at forty five fifty dollars, it might be a lot if you've never had it before. Yeah. Um, Come over to our house. Yeah, right. Um, we have a bottle. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I would recommend it. I would recommend it neat. Mm-hmm. But I don't think a drop of water would hurt it too much, though. No, I mean, you, it might open it up more, give you a little more of those like sweet flavors, or even like maybe for me, I'd be able to taste that cinnamon more. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, th- I think this is really nice. Mm-hmm. Like for never, wa- like for always wanting to try it and never buying it, and then finally seeing it in Whiskey Advocate and be like, you know what, let's do it. I'm pretty impressed. Me too, because it, it was nice to know that it was just wasn't just a cool bottle. Yeah. Because we've done that before. We've bought a really cool bottle, and the whiskey was trash yes um for us again if you liked the unsaid bottle um <laughs> but yeah when seeing it whiskey advocate was like you know when it's number 14 we're like okay well if they like it it's worth a shot yeah so and it's actually for being 14 and only being 45 dollars like that's not a lot yeah because i mean some of the, the some of the whiskeys they try are insane oh my god so, so i'm and i've seen this one around so it's pretty easy to find yeah so bib and tucker six here i think if you see it you find it I think give it a chance. Oh, like, absolutely. It's, yeah. it's not like a, it's not unique enough that you're going to be like, whoa, that is not for me. Because like yeah. it's sweet, but not like that rock candy. But I think it. it I would say Angel's Envy is sweeter. Yes. I would, yeah. yeah. Angel's Envy is sweeter if you've seen that video. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I feel All it. Right. Yeah. Try it. All, All right. right. Well, well, thanks everybody. Cheers. Appreciate it.